Good evening. My name is Denise Jerome. I am the president of Ms. Shayla's events <laughs> and the current president of Novo Louisville. So I'd like to thank each of you for joining us this evening as we recognize these fabulous business women as finalists for the 2016 Epic Awards. So did you all know that according to a study that was issued in 2012 by American Express Open, that there are over 97,000 800 women business owners in the state of Kentucky who contribute roughly 13 billion to the economy. All right. <laughs> Nationally, the number of women owned businesses has increased by 54% since 1997. In Kentucky, this is in 2012 now, was ranked 24th in growth of number of firms over the last 15 years. Yes, we do impact our economy. NABO is a national organization with over 60 chapters. And we work day in and day out to ensure our voices are heard in the business world and that our businesses are equipped to grow and go from good to great. The NABO Louisville Foundation is an extension and the educational arm of our chapter. And I would like to take a minute and welcome our new foundation board members. And if you are a member of the foundation board, could you please stand for me for a minute? I know I have some out here. I have high hopes for this board and what they're going to achieve over the next two years, and I thank each of you for your commitment to serve. NABO Louisville has been on a mission to revamp our presence in the Louisville community. I know Christy spoke about innovation, and we are doing just that. We are innovating and reinventing ourselves in this area. And I'd like to take a moment to tell you about what some of our accomplishments have been over the last couple of years. First and foremost, we are the seventh largest chapter in the 60 chapters of NABO National. <laughs> last year's Epic Awards were the best revenue generating one that we have ever had in the history of NABO and I'm very excited to see what this year is because we have a much larger crowd this year so thank you all for attending. Last year we launched NABO Grow Strive, I'm sorry, Survive and we graduated eight participants out of that which was a huge. For those of you who are not familiar with this program, it is a program that we invented for women business owners who are just getting your business off the ground, or maybe you're thinking about starting a business, and it's a great way to help you put the systems in place to help you get off to a great start. Our second class starts in April, and we are still enrolling for that, so if you think that's of interest for you or you know of someone, then please send them our way for that. The NABO Gross Drive was also launched in 2015, and this is for businesses that are doing great, but you know what, or they're doing good, they wanna go from good to great. And this allows you to step outside your business for a half a day and really focus on what you need to do in order to grow your business to the next level. The Nabo Louisville Foundation Board's brand new and they're redeveloping their mission for the next two years. We have an executive director this year, an assistant, which believe me, I am super thrilled about. So for those of you who don't remember, amidst all the chaos last year with the snow that we had and we had to move this event from a Thursday to the next Monday, that was a feat in itself. But Stephanie had been on the job for maybe two days before she came on for this event. So this is her first real epic under her belt. So they're doing a great job. We've restructured our membership procedures so that we get to indoctrinate our new members quicker. We've restructured our corporate partner materials so that we have a win-win for both sides. We've redeveloped and we've rebranded -re our quarterly meetings. So they aren't quarterly meetings anymore. Now they are the NABO Leadership Series, which we kicked off with Tricia Burke was our first speaker in February. We have Maggie Carlo coming up in April. So those are, what, what better way for you to grow your business and follow in the footsteps of someone who's understood your fears, your goals, your challenges, and will help you succeed because their stories are just so inspiring. And lastly, we've explored and discovered what we consider to be our essence. And ladies, what it is, is we are here to do business. We are intentional about the way we do business and we are transformational when it comes to growing our businesses. And we're not finished yet. 
My term ends the end of this year, and we are launching NABO Thrive this year, and that is geared towards women who, you're at the top of your mountain, and you've built a thriving and a successful business, and quite frankly, you're just ready to share your experiences with the other women who have traveled the same paths. So you enjoy each other's companies, maybe over a glass of wine, an intimate dinner, a social gathering, perhaps you even have time to give back and mentor another woman business owner to success. Either way, this is your time to enjoy, reflect, and thrive. And we're still not stopping there. Nope. Ladies, we are taking over the state. <laughs> so we are working, and I'm not kidding, we are working with National that we are forming a plan that we are going to expand in the state of Kentucky. So you will be hearing more and more about that. That will be coming out. So we're going to, we are not going to be stagnant. We're going to continue to grow. Now we've accomplished a lot and we have a lot more to accomplish by the end of the year when my term's up. However, by no means could I have done all of this without my wonderful board. This board has been dedicated, focused, and has come through to generate change. So ladies, if you're on the Nobel Louisville chapter board, would you please stand for me for a minute? I know you're here. Stand up. Give them all a round of applause. They have worked very hard. As we move closer to announcing the 2016 Women Business Owners of the Year, I want to take a moment to thank our wonderful judges. They've given all their time, their personal time, to review the finalist applications and undertake the difficult task of selecting our winners. So as I say your name, please stand so that we can recognize you. Dee Maynard. Lisa Siebert, who is the CEO of Mightily and Extreme Media. Dr. Sharon Carrick, who is the Associate Director of Entrepreneurship Programs with UofL College of Business. And Kim Wycliffe, who's the Executive Director of Kentucky and Nursing Service. Thank you. Thanks to each of you for your service. I'd also like to take a moment to recognize our past EPIC winners and women of distinction. If you are a past recipient of either of these awards, please stand now and be recognized. Can you stand up? I know I have them in here too. One more other shout out. If you'll notice on your table, there is a little um, stand that says your desserts are provided by Beaded Treasures. Uh, Sarika Kulkarni could not be here tonight, uh, but she is the founder of Beaded Treasures. And this is a nonprofit who works with women who are refugees and gives them a new skill so that they can get a job when they come here to Kentucky. So they have provided your dessert for you tonight. Okay. All right, ladies, as we get closer to announcing the 2016 Epic winners, remember that you all have already won just by getting to this point tonight. And we all have stories that have shaped who we are and the choices that we make. I was recently asked, what was the best advice that a mentor had ever given me? Well, I can remember exactly who it was, and where it was, and when it was. And it was John Westbrook with East and West Brook Construction in Odom County. Before we were starting our business, we, um, he knew that we were looking into it, and when I was telling him what we wanted to do, and I asked him if he had any advice, because he was such a successful businessman. And he said the best advice he could ever give me was to never, ever, ever give up. You will have hard times, you will have challenges. Stay with it and see it through to the end. So you have each obviously never given up to get to this point. You've had obstacles, but those are only challenges to help you grow. You did not quit. Congratulations, ladies. I look forward to sharing each of your successes as you include NABO along your journey.